Hello, thanks again for joining me on today's episode. Um, I want to talk to you today about the package, the offer package. Now that you've been out looking for a house, you found the one. You've, you're really excited because you're ready to write an offer for that house. So what we do is we go back to the office and we put together that offer package. In that package, we're going to need to put together the contract, the addendum, and the contingencies. We also need to have your pre-approval letter from your loan officer, and we also will put in a earnest money check. The earnest money is your consideration for the offer. It's the money to show the seller that you're serious about buying the house, and it's actually at stake if you were to just say, hey, I changed my mind, I don't wanna buy this house anymore. So it just shows how serious you are. Typically, depending on the purchase price, you're going to put somewhere between $500 to $3,000 down into escrow. So going back to the offer package, the contract is going to contain the seller information, the buyer information, the loan type, the amount of earnest money deposit that we're putting down. We're going to pick a settlement date. We're going to pick a title company. And we're also going to include the addendums and contingencies. Uh, to go over the uh, contingencies and addendums, usually when we do a home inspection, we ask for 10 days and a three-day negotiation period. The appraisal addendum is, or appraisal contingency means that the house has to be appraised by the bank. The bank will come out and say, yes, this property is worth what we're financing for you. The next contingency is the HOA or the condo association. The seller has 14 days to get those condo or homeowner association documents to the buyer and the buyer has three days to review. They'll also need to send the HOA delinquency rate information to the loan officer. That needs to be verified that their delinquency rate is not too high and they are approved to sell the property. The next piece is the financing contingency. In the financing contingency, we will ask for 25 to 30 days to make sure that the loan commitment letter is issued by the loan officer and we present that information to the seller and that way we can remove that contingency. And anything that happens after the fact will then be on the buyer and they risk losing their money. Say for example, if you go out and run up $15,000 in credit card debt after they have their loan commitment and their financing contingency removed, and they no longer qualify for the home loan, they will now be out of their money. Those are the types of things that we include in the, the offer package. And once we have all those pieces completed, initialed, signed, we'll get the pre-approval customized letter. In the customized pre-approval letter, we don't wanna give the seller too much information, so we want to make sure that they have only the amount that you are purchasing the house for, not the amount you're qualified for, because that reduces our negotiation power by telling them, well, this buyer is actually qualified up to you know 250,000, even though we're writing an offer to 230, and they can take the price up and that's not what we want to do. We want to make sure that they don't have too much information. So once we have all those pieces, we put it together and we send the package off to the listing agent and wait for a response. We go into negotiation once they possibly counter. Usually they'll counter offer and give a little bit more to the seller. And that's how we present the offer. Thanks again for watching, and if you have a topic that you would like to hear more about, please feel free to contact me. I'm on Twitter at KristaSellsVA. See you guys soon.